Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and I thought I would go ahead and share these clips I have of my silver bar making process with you guys. It's not all inclusive. I didn't film some of the parts I wish I would have, but since I had the clips, I figured I'd put them together and go ahead and share them with you. So the opening scene is me basically showing you the electronic furnace that I have and talking about getting some pours done. So let's cut to that right now. So I've got my SY0002 electronic melting furnace. It's at about a thousand degrees right now and silver is actually molten at about 962 degrees. If I take the top off, you can definitely see in there, it is molten. So I need to heat up my little crucible here. It's two ounces. I got only four ounces in there, Troy ounces. Wish me luck. I'm not gonna film the pour this time. I'm just gonna film the end result of the two pours and we'll see how I do because it is my first time using the electronic furnace. We'll get my gloves on, we'll get that graphite mold heated up and we'll see how this goes. I'll be back in a minute. So I decided that the first two bars poured pretty well. So I figured why not go ahead and pour the amount of silver that I had ready to melt and I went ahead and poured my first five bars. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first five bars and how they came out. So here you have it everyone. These are my first five bars poured. I poured Big Bertha here. This is 84 grams, so about uh, 22 grams over two ounces. This one is 76 grams, so about 14 grams over, eh, you know, probably about 2.4 troy ounces. This is 74 grams, about 2.3. We'll get exacts on there. This one is 71 grams. And then the end of my run, this one had a little bit of gunk on it. Tried to polish it out. Thinking about re-pouring it, but I still think it'll take my stamp. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I re-pour ones like this? It seems like whenever I get to the very last bit of silver in my crucible, you get a little bit of that crucible uh, stuck and it kind of makes the pour not as clean, but it also gives it some character. So we still got lots more shot to melt. I also have some rounds if I wanted to. Uh, I know I'm pouring these heavier. I think what I'm going to do is get a three Troy ounce graphite mold so that I don't have to worry about trying to pour it to the top or pouring it a little bit over. I can actually pour it a little under or a little over and it's still gonna be between 1.75 and 2.75 Troy ounces because that's what I'm looking for. Somewhere between 1.75 and 2.75. These are all trying to get right around two, two and a half, and it was very tough. Anyway, I still think they came out pretty good. I like this Big Bertha. This is my first one poured. So this is gonna be bar number one, bar two, bar three, bar four, and the jury's out on bar five. We'll bring you, when I get my stamp, and I get the tops of them stamped, then I'll flip them around, and I'll be putting on the uh, 999 Fine Silver, as well as the weight and the serial number. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the scene where I'm tumbling them. I forgot to film me actually stamping them. We'll get that in a future video when I start doing some live stream pours along with some live stream stamping. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and show you me removing them from the tumbler and how they came out after that process. Time to get these bad boys out of the tumbler and see what they look like. some bars out of here. I only did three at a time because I didn't want to exceed the weight capacity of my tumbler. Let me get them wiped down and we'll show what they look like. Check out these bars, guys. The RFT logo right on the front. This one's a little bit extra. It was my first bar poured. It's 2.73 ounces Troy, 999 fine silver, 0001. And um, this is bar number two. It's 270 ounces Troy, 999 fine silver. Serial number two came out pretty nice as well. 
Part three's got a little bit of scratches on it or something. It's kind of different, but I like it. It was uneven, so it took a little work. This is 248 troy ounces. You can see I was a little bit off on the OZT, but you know what? It is what it is. That's the third bar. And I've got a whole bunch of RFT bars coming behind it. And I've got them from 244, 235. This is all troy ounces. And then I even poured some thinner ones all the way down to this 177. But when I use the steel wool next on these to get rid of the scratches, that'll look good. And then I'll stamp them and then I tumble them. You don't want to tumble them before you stamp them because it hardens the silver and stamping is very tough to do. So I've got their weights on them. These are all be ready to stamp and they're in order that I poured them. So bar four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I, want, I was running low on silver and I was calculating what I needed to be at. And I thought the last three, I was like, well, if I pour a couple at two, I'll have like literally an ounce left, a little over an ounce. So I had to budget it. This one's got a little character. It's got a little circle in the middle, kind of weird. But at the end of the day, man, the tumbler, man, shines them up nicely. Good looking bars. I'm happy with them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I can't wait to get the rest of these stamped, tumbled, and then keep pouring some more bars. After all, it's only 15. I just realized that uh, bar two, I got a, I got a double die. It's gonna have to stay that way. It is what it is. Bar two came out a double die. We've got our first RFT Aaron variety. Unbelievable. So after I completed the first three bars, I decided to go ahead and complete the next seven with the stamping and the tumbling and the whole nine yards. So this next clip is me showing off the first 10 that I have now fully completed up to this point. Pretty excited. Bars one through 10. You know, I really like bar number five a lot. Came out really clean. My stamping wasn't too bad. Bars pretty, pretty uniform for the most part. It's been tumbled, been polished. Love it. Bar number eight. Looks good as well. Pretty happy with it overall. Matter of fact, I'm pretty happy with most of these bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten more poured. I'm tumbling a couple right now, and I still got to stamp six more. So, got a long ways to go, but I think they're coming out pretty dang nice. And uh, get some light on these bad boys. Look pretty good. I've been getting a lot of requests for one ounce bars, and I'll be honest with you, I can do them, but man, they're gonna be some thin guys, and I didn't want thin bars. I like the weight of two ounces or more, so I'm gonna try to keep it right around two ounces, but I did try to pour some light ones, and I do have four or five ones below two ounces, just so I'd have some lighter ones. I haven't really got into doing the rippling. You see a little bit of ripples on that sixth one, but I don't know, man. I like, with my big stamp on these, I like them without the ripples. You guys let me know. Should I start trying to put some ripples on some? If I do that, it's just going to make my stamp cover most of the rippling. But maybe it'd look cool if it was surrounded like a spider around it. I don't know. I may give it a go. But right now, I seem to like the way these are coming out. And we're going to keep making some more. So after I showed off the first 10, I decided to go ahead and stamp and tumble the next six, which put me at 16 bars. And then I decided, you know what? I better show off the last four before I tumble them, since I haven't really shown what they look like after I stamp them, but prior to tumbling them. So in this next clip, you will see 16 bars completed with four only front stamped prior to tumbling. We've now got 16 bars done. It's been a few days later. I've got four bars that I've only got the front stamped on them so far. They're not been tumbled or polished yet. Still gotta stamp the backs of them. That way they look like that in the back. So a few more to go, then I'll have my first 20 bars poured. Can't wait to get them done. I should finish these today, and then we'll have some bars for you guys. All right, we've got 17, 18, 19, and 20 stamped. 
I've got my tumbling mix here, a little bit of water. This is that one pound jeweler's mix. I'll be adding a little bit of a shine bright to it, just probably five or six drops to this. And then we'll throw the bars in there, put them on the tumbler for about an hour. Sometimes too, if I really wanna shine them up pretty good or if they have some scratches I wanna get out of there. But these are pretty clean bars. So they're probably not gonna need much time in the tumbler, about an hour. So next step is drop them in here. It could take up to four. I guess I could do five because this tumbler is allowed to do up to three pounds. It's a pound a shot. That's uh, about three quarters of a pound of silver. And then we've got the water as well weight. So it's a little under three. I could probably do five of the smaller bars, maybe six. But on some of the bigger bars, I can only do three or four. Let me get a few drops of that in there. Get on the tumbler and we'll get the rest of the bars all finished up. Well, it's official. My first 20 bars are done. The plan now, guys, is sometime in the next week, I will have, or plan to have, a live auction. So what I'd like for everyone to do, so that I know which bars you want, let me know if you want bars one through 20. If you could shoot me an email to my email address, it'll be listed in the description down below and in my first pinned comment. Just let me know which bar number is your first choice and the bar that's your second choice. If you're the only one who picks one of the bars, it's yours. I'll get you a price. If you're multiple people who want some of the bars, we'll have to have that for the auction and it'll be a live auction that I'll hold sometime, probably in the next week. Could be Black Friday, could be over the weekend. Hopefully I've interested in my bars. I've got the first 20 poured. I plan on making these for a lot of years for a lot of people. I'll also be using them once in a while for giveaways and special events. Hopefully you liked this video of me making my silver bars. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching. Bar number one.